In this video, we're going to explain everything you need to know about augmented reality training and how it can upgrade your learning program. Hi, I'm Joe DeLugas, Account Executive at Roundtable Learning. Are you struggling to find ways to enhance your company's learning program? At Roundtable, we're here to help you find the right solution for your training and development needs. Today, I'll be talking about what augmented reality training is, the different types, and how it can be used for your business. Augmented reality can be defined as using a phone, tablet, or even a headset and placing a 3D modeled object onto a surface and actually studying that object or whatever it might be and interacting with it. So you can pull the object apart, you can interact with the components on the inside and also learn along the way with knowledge checks and overlay multimedia as well. There's a lot of different things that you can do with augmented reality to really engage your learners and provide that interactive training tool to really give that ultimate learning experience. There are three types of AR technology, and the first one is AR target recognition. AR image target recognition is where you can overlay um, with a 2D object any 3D object on top of that. So take a QR code, for example. If you scan your phone over on top of a QR code, you can put a 3D object onto that QR code and um, actually study that and move it about in any direction that you would need to. AR ground plane technology is where you can take any 3D object and place it on a flat surface. Take a car, for example. You can place a one-to-one -one scale model of a car and put it anywhere. So it could be in your own living room. It could even be in a parking lot and you can go up to that car. You can go inside the car and see the components within it, rotate it in any way direction you want and study any part of the car if that is the object of the training. AR scenario training is where you can place a 3D object onto the floor surface or even a table surface and practice scenario training. So take learning a POS system, but also wanting to practice some customer service skills. You can place a POS system onto that surface, actually practice with the system training, so understand how the buttons work. And again, it's one-to-one -one scale, so it'll be exactly how the actual POS system is in real life. And then you can have a customer across from you, so you can interact with the customer, you can ask them how their day is going and actually practice those different tools and those sales tools to ultimately not only train on the system but train on customer service as well. AR training can be used for a variety of technical problem solving skills. So let's say you want to train on an engine but the big problem with training on engines a lot of times is that they're too big and too heavy so you have to bring a lot of people into one room to train on one engine this is not a very conducive learning setting for many of your learners so AR can help solve this problem with AR they can have the engine on their mobile device on their tablet or even in their headset and they can place that engine in whatever room they may be in and they can individually be trained on that engine everyone learns at a different pace so having that engine in their back pocket essentially and placing it into the middle of the room is a great learning technique for them to actually train on the components, the parts, and the process of repairs that would ultimately help them get through the training faster and more effectively. AR training can be great for multi-step tasks as well. So for this one, let's say you're changing out the tire of the car and you can do it in augmented reality. So with this, different multimedia can play within the actual augmented reality scenario. So you put your device up to the car tire and then you can actually put your finger on the lug nuts, for example, and then it will show the multimedia of this is how you remove a lug nut from a car. And then the next step, this is how you remove the tire from the car and all showing those videos along the way. So great, again, for just in time learning. So you can actually do it on the field and not have to take a guess of how it works and possibly break um, or injure yourself in the process. But in AR, you can actually practice in that safe environment and have the steps along the way to help you complete the training. AR can also be a great tool for onboarding. So let's say you're a new employee going into your new headquarters at your new company and you need to be aware of your surroundings of what this exact headquarters is. So it's a giant campus and you can have your phone with the QR code and go around to different areas of this headquarters so you can open up the QR code and maybe the CEO is talking to you in this room and maybe the VP is talking to you in this room. And you can learn a little bit more about each specific um, aspect of the company. On one floor, you can go up to finance and you can learn a little bit more about the finance function of the company. Same with sales and same with research and development. 
When partnering with Roundtable on an AR training program, we typically don't do the one-off AR training. It's usually taking a blended approach and using multiple modalities to ultimately give you the best product at the end of the day. AR is not the end-all solution to everything. We're not gonna throw you a technology and say, figure it out, this is the only way to do it. We might pair it with an e-learning. Again, we might overlay some different multimedia along the way to again, give it that blended feel. And ultimately, we're going to be with you the entire step of the way. You won't just be given the technology, you'll have someone on our technology side with you along the way to again, give you that resource you need to feel comfortable with an investment such as augmented reality. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out our article on how to develop augmented reality training for your company. The link is in the description below and don't forget to subscribe to the training and development channel for videos on all things learning solutions.